Shalom Aleikum. So we are getting back into our arena run with our druid over here. So I'm trying to be more conscientious, conscientious of what I'm going to say in a video. Uh, what I'm going to talk about, what I'm going to do, I'm pre-planning. Uh, let me tell you, that's kind of weird for me. Like back in school, terrible student. Like I'm, I'm a genius. I'm smart. Uh, way off the charts. But I was always so bored. Never did my homework, never did anything more than I had to, never studied. Uh, not the brightest move, let me tell you. That's a bad life decision, don't do that. Work hard, get ahead in this world. Uh, you're also talking to someone that did have to, I did have to drop out. Uh, I am not proud of, I, I'm not talking about high school, I'm, I dropped out of college. Uh, I had about a year and a half left on my degree. Uh, biochemistry with minor in genetics. And barely, barely did the bare minimum in the beginning for that too. Which I highly, highly regret looking back. But, uh, Yeah, the I don't regret dropping out just because the decision was it was between paying for my sister's medical bills or uh, I mean, well there were good reasons. There were very good reasons. My my sister was very sick and I had to choose between, am I going to drop out of school and pay her medical bills because my deadbeat father refused, or was, was I going to go above and beyond and take care of her? We all know what I chose. I chose the smart decision. You take care of family. Family always comes first. I think I got off on a tangent here. Anyways, what I was saying though is, you know, I never put in that kind of effort to improve, to be the best. Which, looking back, was kind of, kind of stupid, but. You know, every decision we make in life will have a certain outcome. And the outcome depends on the work you put in. I'm making the choice to actively think ahead to plan these things out, or at least kind of ballparking and that's not easy I, I will say that right now it's very hard to pre-plan for a person like me and here I am I am pre-planning Listen to me, I sound like a crazy person. Just kind of ranting. I, I do apologize. I'm, I'm really trying. It's... It is very hard to... figure out how best to do this. Um, I'm trying to learn a new skill here. And you're probably sitting here thinking like, well, what, what kind of challenging skill is that? Talking in front of a camera. Well, no, it's, it's more than that, you know? I'm trying to hold a conversation with myself and someone else essentially at the same time. Which is really weird. I'm trying to connect with the people that view me. 
and there is a lot that goes into this. Uh, the editing, the actual gameplay, and... It's a lot. It's a lot to think about. Which is good and bad at the same time. It's bad because, you know, I'm trying to think ahead. I'm trying to do all of this. I'm putting a lot of time and effort into all of this. But... All the same... I still have a full-time job, I still have to travel for work, I still have my younger sister, my older brother, my mom to help take care of. I've got a two-year-old husky pup that needs my love and care. And constant, constant attention. And let me tell you how much of a pain in the butt that one is. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, and that should be game. There's no walking away from that one. I have way too many, too many win cons. So, you go there, you go into that, you get that, shuffle those in, attack the face. So let's see, unless he has some redonkulous amount of taunts. Then we have just won this. Um, but yeah, like, I really enjoy doing this. It's tiring. Very tiring. And I don't want to stop doing it. Therefore, I won't stop doing it. But I'm having to put a lot more work into this because I do want it to be a successful thing. You know, it's, it is fun to put something up online and see everyone watching it. Uh, it is fun to hear people's thoughts about what I'm doing or recommendations for how I can improve. And that's fantastic to have, you know? Um, it's fantastic to be able to sit back and people, people listen. People are interested in what I'm doing and what I'm saying. Currently not a ton of people, but hey, you know, you gotta start somewhere. I've been doing this for one month and I had to take a week hiatus because of Irma. And still, uh, I still have people looking at my stuff. Um, in about a month and a half, I'm going to have hit, uh, 1,000 views. Uh, I'm hoping, right now the goal is to be at, um, roughly I want to see at least 10 views per video. That, that would be fantastic for me. But... I'm not going to blow a gasket if I don't get 10 views per video. We're working towards that. 
I would also like to see at least 10 subscribers. So if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know if you are enjoying the content I am providing. Because it's not easy to do this. You know, you're putting yourself out there. You're doing something. And that's hard to do. That's really hard to do. But it's fun all the same. Uh, yeah. This is a rough setup. So we're probably going to go into you and you. Yup. So drop you, and drop you. I am interested to see how he's going to handle this one. So remove the poison, obviously. Deal one damage. Alright. I would have done that differently, but hey, you know. In that turn. So that would be another taunt that will have died. So right now the goal is going to be to get all our taunts up. But yeah, so my goals for this right now, you know, at least 10 views per video and at least 10 subscribers. Once we reach that, then we're going to start working ahead. My recommendation is do not go out of your way to do some absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous idea. Don't say, hey, I'm going to have, I don't know. I'm going to have a hundred subscribers by the end of X amount of days. Or some small amount of time. It's not going to happen. You'll have set yourself up for failure. And you don't want to do that. Your, your goal is not to intend on failure. Now that's not to say, don't improve. And yes, I think I only have one taunt. Oh, oh, that's when you die. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is going to go very, very poorly. So, that needs to go. So what do we have? We're at 9 damage right there, so he has to come up with, off of 10 mana, 5, off of 4 mana, or 8 mana, 4. Okay. All right. I can work with that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let us remove you. I don't have another life steal in my deck. Let me drop you and you. And I want that gone. 
Alright. So on the next turn, we're going to have to play Alastraza. Let's do that. And that. Oh my lord. That was painful. Whew. Alright. But we, we came through. Let's see. I think we have time for one more. Just one more. Now, I will say, if any of you are playing this game, if you noticed the card changes, oh god, that's gonna kill me. Uh, the war leader, primarily. One of the key things with my strategy with war leader is I play him not so much for the damage up, but to heal my murlocs. Uh, basically, I can trade them and keep them alive longer. And that has just been negated. Which is going to be rough. Um, some of the other ones they changed, like Innervate. That's insane. Just... Uh, put that out there. That that's beyond crazy. My greetings to you too. But uh, yeah, I can't believe they did that to innervate. Oh my lord, he actually is playing one. That is literally insane. All right. Well, we're gonna kill that now. Let's see. Scream, little griffin, scream. Spell damage plus one. Is that a murloc? Huh. That's a very interesting looking card. Uh, I want to draw some cards. Yes, yes, you're very welcome. I'm sure he got something very enjoyable as well. But... Oh, by all means, continue what you're doing. There we go. So I don't know if he has some way to kill that. Of course he does. All right. By all means, keep keep bashing on me. I'm just going to start dropping all the taunts right now. Cuz as soon as we get to Hadronox, Hadronox, I will be able to fully heal. There we go. Are you kidding me? How? How do you still have things like that? Like, this whole deck is built around not. Alright. I need that gone. I need to hit your face. So... Alright. Let's see here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Heal up. I need that gone. I need... 
I do apologize about that. Had to reconnect the game real quick. Alright, so this should keep me alive for the time being. I need that gone. We're, we're playing the long con right now of trying to stay alive. Oh, okay. Um, Some of three one one snakes. Cool. So hopefully he has those attack my face. Cause I can just swipe them out. I don't know what he's gonna do at this point. Alright. For the minion immune. That works. And then he's gonna steady shot. Get all across there. I do want to shuffle three copies of that into my deck. Hit that and hit that. Alright, so right now the goal is actually going to be to kill Hadronix. Uh, luckily, I have a card draw minion and armor. Alright. I need the armor. I need that dead. And I need that dead. So that's got me a metric ton of taunts. And we pulled off another one. A perfect episode. Oh my lord, that feels good. Alright, so as you can see, this is not working as intended. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, guys. Don't forget, again, hit that like and subscribe down at the bottom. And it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. But I gotta go now. Bye.